got here is the well site that has been here for approximately 30 years. There are actually four wells on this site, of which you see two here with an installed logging donkey each. And we've got our Polaris VHA in that hole at the moment. Now we get to the hazardous part of the site where we've got to have our helmets and gloves and stuff on. And then over here, we have the Antec here. This is a container that we use for maintaining our BHAs. So in here, we have our generator. This gives us total on-site independence. We can turn up and we can get going no matter what the rest of the site is doing. Well, when our BHA is assembled, it reaches from our cabin over here all the way over to those barriers. So this entire area is for us to lay out and manoeuvre our BHA. Just here we've got the breakout unit. Uh, we use that to attach the BHA to the drilling motor. We've got our nitrogen. Just behind the big tank there, the nitrogen pump. And so the nitrogen pump will pump nitrogen into the centre of the reel, which you can see over there. And then just on the other side here, you can see the big blue pump. This is one of two fluid pumps, there's another one behind it. Its job is to circulate the liquid. Uh, if you look in the end of the pump there, you can actually see the pistons going back with the boards. That is pumping drilling fluid also to the centre of the reel. And that, that junk from the centre of the reel, they're mixed. They then flow through the core tubing that is on the reel, up there, over the guide arch, down, 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 all the way down the well, under our feet, about two kilometres over that way, to the BHA. The fluid then mixes with the cuttings, transports the cuttings all the way back up the well to the surface, up inside the riser there, to, can you see where the blue pipe comes out, if we get a valve on it, so down the blue pipe, across the floor here, to this lot that you just pointed out. And here we have a three-phase separator. It is separating the return nitrogen and produced gases, which go up the stack over there. You can actually see um, steam coming out the top. It's a cold stack. Um, what little gas is produced is far too diluted by the nitrogen to actually burn in the conventional oil rig fair sense. Uh, so it's just putting, put up, being put up there high enough to be blown away and there are explosive gas sensors around just in case anybody did the maths wrong. Uh, so the gas is going that way, then the liquids are further separated downstream, um, the water is taken out and the diesel is recirculated and pumped back around the system. The windsock is very very important because in the event of the H2S alarm going off, it has done a couple of times, you need to know which way the wind is blowing in order to know which way to run. Uh, the important thing to remember being do not run in the direction that the wind's off the pointing, run the other way. This is the coil tubing reel. This is where our 3,000 metres of coil tubing are stored and from where they are sent down the hole. And right in the very middle there, we've got the slip ring system to get the eight conductors that come out of the back of our surface panel into the centre of the wheel and from there into the wire line that's inside the coil tubing. We've got a level line system up there to make sure the, um, make sure the coil tubing goes back on the reel. Can you see it's sat on a sort of linear motion system, a great big helix down the middle. And so the guy in the cab controls that helix to move the guide tube side to side to make sure that the coil lies flat on the surface. Uh, back up depth encoder. The main depth encoder should be up there on the injector um, because down here you are subject to any inaccuracies involved in the span. These red pipes down here lead to the blowout preventers. What we have here is the emergency shutdown control. If you look over there by the steps up the CT cab, there's a little valve on a four-legged stick. There are valves like that located all around the site. So if anybody notices anything going on around the wellhead, they can operate the valve and the well will be shut in automatically. So this is the CT cab, and in the CT cab we have Joe, and he's controlling the BHA. 